The fate of the East Bend Library is to be determined. A budget model does not include operational costs to maintain the library past the year 2025. Today, Kelsey McGee found out we may not know the fate of the building for a while. Kelsey? The library director says a board discussion about the East Bend Library is expected in late spring, and they'll be looking at a number of factors. Plans for a remodel at the East Bend Library are on pause. It has been marked as TBD in the library's February report for construction starting, finishing, and the building reopening. We shifted where the location of our new central facility, the Stevens Ranch Library, will be. Um, that raised the question of, is that so close to East Bend that we should continue operating it or not? The East Bend Library first opened its doors in 2011 and is located at the Forum Shopping Center for Ben resident Mildred Curley, visiting this place is part of her routine. Oh yeah, I would miss it. I really enjoyed it when they moved this annex part from downtown out here because I live on the east side here. It's very convenient. Curly comes to the East Side Library every two weeks. I come and get the audio books. They help me go to sleep and when I can't sleep, I just really enjoy listening to them. In determining whether to keep the East Bend Library open, the library will have several considerations. What I expect is we'll start really starting to dig into numbers like how usage, uh, goals for what we want to do as a library going forward in the future, and then trying to figure out how East Bend fits into that. The library is in a rented storefront and takes $800,000 a year to operate. If the building closes, the money will be reallocated. But if, if we weren't using it for that, we would use it for other services. Um, whether, and whether that's doing outreach services, opening up a, a new facility somewhere else, really it's kind of up to the board as to what they would like to be doing with that. So it's really too early to say. The board has until the end of December 2025 to reach a decision. And input is welcome from the public. Their email will be in this online story and on the News Channel 21 app. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.